Hey, what's going on people over at Call Ops 24-7? My name is Dylan, or Tide of 58 and what you have to watch right now is actually some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay using the Dragon Off. I ended up getting this gun gold the other day, so I got quite a few good gameplays. This is probably the best. It's a 22-2, uh, and two, so I hope you guys enjoy watching that. But anyways, the reason you came to watch this video is because today I'm going to be bringing you guys another story time commentary. I've brought you guys one story before. If you guys don't remember, it was a time that I was actually riding around my street on a bicycle in a gorilla suit, and my French teacher came out. Probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. But uh, today I'm going to be bringing you guys a different story and hopefully something equally as entertaining because you guys really seem to like that last video. So uh, today I'm going to be bringing you another story. This one's going to be the time that I had to ride home with a stranger in a rapist van. And it's actually a really interesting story. I think you guys are going to enjoy it quite a bit. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. So what had happened was it was the day of Christmas and I really wanted the game Skyrim. So of course, usually I get one of the things that I want for Christmas. My parents are really generous when it comes to that stuff. So I went downstairs and uh, we're all unwrapping our gifts and I ended up getting game Skyrim which I was really excited about I really wanted that game and it's probably a really really good game probably one of my favorites I would have to say and uh, I really like that game so anyways what had happened was I was playing it for probably about a week not a week straight I'm not that much of a gamer but it was probably a week later after I got it I was playing it when all of a sudden my PS3 just randomly shut off so I'm like okay what's going on here so I take out the disc put it back in and I start playing and then for some reason my PS3 will not start up so every time I press the power button there's yellow light search turning on on my ps3 and i'm like oh crap if you guys don't know what the yellow light for the ps3 is it's basically like the red ring for the xbox where when you get it it's basically saying that your ps3 or your xbox is broken so uh, as soon as i saw that i was like oh man this is just this is just great my ps3 is broken and it was just christmas but you know it wasn't that bad because obviously around christmas you get relatives to give you money you get a bunch of free a bunch of free money so i had a lot of cash to buy a brand new ps3 so what had happened was since uh, I obviously I don't have a license right now so what I had to do was I got my mom to drive me down to the closest store which sold PS3s so I got all my cash I went down there and we picked up a PS3 bought it and man the Christmas sales I guess ended probably like a couple days after Christmas because the PS3 was $2.99 when I was reading some advertisements and it said it was only $1.99 so a full extra hundred bucks and wow I was not expecting that at all but anyways that's not really important um what happened was I got the PS3 and then I went back in my car with my mom we were driving back and probably when we were at the busiest street in our entire city the car just starts shutting down and we're like what the heck's happening so we're stuck in the middle of a uh, four-way intersection basically and our car cannot turn on for some reason we keep trying to turn it on and uh, it just does not work so my mom orders me to go out try and find some people we like uh, some booster cables probably trying to kickstart our car so we find someone and it doesn't work for some reason so what I have to do is I'm in the middle of a four-way intersection with a dead car and my mom's steering and I have to push it into the closest parking lot now something really lucky was we were right next to a Canadian tire which uh, for those of you guys who don't know is just a store that you know you can repair cars in if you have a right uh, right store of Canadian tire and we had the right kind so we were able to repair our car there but they were closed for the weekend obviously so that really sucked and it didn't really help because there was a lot of snow on the road so it was really hard to push the car there but anyways we pushed it there and like I said the store was closed so we really weren't able to uh, weren't able to repair the car that day so what we had to do is we had to try and find some people with cell phones to you know let them call because I didn't have a cell phone back then I actually just got uh, my first my very first cell phone a couple of weeks ago no more like a couple months ago actually sorry but uh, yeah, so we didn't have any back then. We were trying to find some people with cell phones. We got one person to give us their cell phone. We called uh, my brother and my dad because they both have their full licenses. And none of them were able to pick us up, actually, which really sucks. So we're just all standing there in the parking lot, my mom and I. I'm holding this giant PS3 box. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And uh, we're both really pissed off because we are pretty far from our house. It's pretty far from walking distance. And my mom bought a bunch of stuff as well when we were down there at the PS3 store. So we were stuck there and we basically couldn't do anything. So anyways, what has happened is oh, after about, I would say five, no, not five, more like five or ten minutes actually after standing there, we see this guy with this creepy mustache and these really dingy clothes really really weird looking guy he's possibly the biggest rapist looking guy that you can picture in your mind just picture a guy with a big mustache you know dirty hair not really looking too well and uh yeah he's probably the first guy i think of when i think of a rapist so anyways he comes up to us and he's like hey need a ride and i'm just like oh god no mom please do not say yes and of course my mom says yes and uh, then the guy comes up with this get this he pulls up with the most stereotypical rapist van. He has a big white van, no windows, and I'm like, oh my god, this is horrible. So he pulls up, 
and uh, so he tells me to get in. I get inside the car, and I don't know why I got in early that early, actually, because I grab my PS3, I go inside. My mom's supposed to unpack all the stuff and get in, so I'm just sitting in the car with this guy in front of me. And the scariest thing was, is when we were both sitting there, he turned around for probably about 20 seconds and just, like, looked into my eyes, and we just had eye contact for, like, 20 seconds, and he just gave me the creepiest smile that you can possibly think of, and I was freaking out. I'm like, Mom, hurry up right now. I do not want to stay in this car any longer with this creepo. So, uh, anyways, my mom finally got the stuff. The guy drove us back there. There, and he gave me this really creepy smile as I was leaving and I guess it was kind of nice but just something about the way he looked at me and the way he acted and he was like honestly rapist van with the rapist look it was just the whole thing was just really weird really sketchy but uh, anyways that's my story that's the time that I had to ride with a stranger in a pedal van and I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did you can always rate it and help out this channel and I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is only my second video on this channel you guys really seem to like my last one so I have to thank you guys for the support on these videos a lot it does mean a lot to me so uh, anyways once again my name is tired 58 hope you guys know this video and uh, have a great day see ya